Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Episode 48 of Survival of the Fitted, your favorite podcast in the whole entire universe. And you're chilling here with your favorite co host in the whole entire universe, Joe Williams, aka Joe Dirt, dropping bars early this morning. We got Ian Pierre and the Mr. Stylist, Mr. Everything. How are you doing today, my guy? Um, do you, can I tell you what you just reminded me of? What's up, man? Talk to me. When I was in community college in Durham, North Carolina, I used to listen to like those like morning, like, uh, like morning radio talk shows on like the hip hop station. And they're mm-hmm. like, good morning, everybody. It's, it's sway in the morning. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and that's literally what you just reminded me of. You're like, it's like 7 a.m. And you're like, all right, let's listen to the show. Listen to people call in, talk about their drama. Um, yep. You had like big morning talk show energy. And those people are superheroes because they wake up at like five in the morning. And they're like, what the fuck is going on? And that's what What's you kind of like remind me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's like I legendary. For the I know it's 10 a.m. <laughs> the behavior of my passion. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's over the top, but I love it. It's Speaking good. of things I'm feeling that, good, I'm feeling loose, I'm feeling loose. Let's get it. Yeah. Speaking of things that aren't over the top though, Russell Westbrook wore like his first normal outfit ever. Really? I did see that. I did. You see saw that. that? Um, saw so it. for the people listening, we posted it three days ago, three days ago, which if you're listening to this on Tuesday, I mean, on Wednesday, it means it was four days ago. Um, he wore, it's just like a pair of light wash jeans, Doc Martens, a white t-shirt, and a black vest. He's just like me for real. Uh, I don't know. I guess uh, kind of. No, yeah, I don't know. It's honestly kind <laughs> of like, I don't know. Like, I don't have an opinion. Like, it's not a good fit. It's not a bad fit. But I was scrolling through Getty Images, which is like where we get half of our images probably. And I was just like, I had to double take, like, like literally, like, you know how people say, oh, I, I double took, but like, mm-hmm. I actually literally had to double take. I was like, what? No, that's not Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook? Was that him? Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Do you, like, I don't, I'm looking at the fit right now and I'm not a fan. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a fan of the pants. Yeah. Um, this isn't really Russell. I hope his play on the court isn't influencing his risks in the tunnel because That's I feel like I thought too. safe. Did I he read I like one? be a rock star. Yeah. Do you think he oh, just read one too many like, boy, more worried about getting off fits than he is about getting in the gym comments? He, those comments are what you got to stay from in life. There's a lot of things you have to stay away yeah. from in life. And those comments are at the top of the tier list. Um, as far as Russell, man, I feel like his mental's in a tricky spot. I know he was talking about like the his last name and what it meant to him and people like like clowning him and stuff like that. And I'm like, man, can't relate because I'm not in the NBA. But like, man, I really just want to wake up and have like that 2016 Russell Westbrook mentality. Just being like, now I do what I want. Now I do what I want. Now I do what I want. We all need that. We all need that. I feel you. Yeah, you got you can't read the comments. I mean, look, Kuzma got all those comments. He ignored them. Dude's balling. So I think he's just got to stay true to the process. Yeah, it was probably the first Russell fit that I've ever like, because even some of like the Russell fits like of the past that maybe I didn't like. I always respected. You know what I mean? Because I'm like, all right. Risks. Yeah, I always respect. I always respect a risk that's like not like try hard, and he, he's not trying hard. Um, it's just like his thing. And this was like probably the first Russell Westbrook outfit ever. I didn't really respect, but you know, it's just like a regular ass fit, and that, that's like cool. Like you know what I mean? Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't dog on a dude walking outside my apartment for it. You know what I mean? But I'm yeah, like, you sure. are Russell Westbrook. This is like who you are. You know what I mean? So I hope I hope he stays out of the comment section and gets back in his bag a little bit. You feel me? Yeah, we'll get him on the podcast. We'll talk about him. You know what I'm We're saying? Not we'll gonna, talk, he's we'll not coming on this podcast. What? Joe Williams manifestation alert. Russell Westbrook on the podcast going to talk about his fashion and everything under the sun. Whoa. Yeah. Heard it here first. <laughs> okay. On a more positive note, though, um, the Toronto Raptors... I think made a pun having to do with our podcast. This, yes, this was pointed, to, pointed out to me from one of the producers on the show. Yeah, which is I interesting because the Raptors have always been League Fits fans, I think, because they always tag League Fits in like their fit picks. 
mm-hmm. but it's like Fred Van Vliet in like an OVO varsity jacket. You know what I mean? Um, literally, you remember when the Warriors played the Raptors in the finals? Yeah. That was like the biggest league fits nightmare. <laughs> Like, oh man is, is toronto not swaggy like that nah, they had Serge Ibaka, who was cool but like that was it like that whole season that whole uh series was literally just yeah. like katie tech suits and Serge Ibaka. um anyway though the so anyway toronto raptors fans of the pod i'm like damn they need to get swaggy players i want to show them love um but they posted a caption it was survival of the littest mm-hmm. maybe a survival of the fitted reference Anyway, this is all just a long way of saying that Scotty Barnes may be making a late push for League Fits Rookie of the Year. Late push alert? I'm yeah, late it. push alert. I'm seeing it. He he popped out to the Staples Center wearing like the Michael Jackson gloves. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not sure what you call like a, like a balaclava or a ski mask. It doesn't actually cover your face. But he wore like a balaclava where you could like still see his mouth and nose and eyes. So I'm not sure mm-hmm. what that actually is. Like that's not a balaclava. It's not a ski mask. Um, it just, I don't know. It kind of looks like he's like wearing like a condom, but like I fuck with it. Like it's it looks like cool. a Buzz Lightyear vibe. I'm getting yes. a Buzz Lightyear vibe from the, from the head of the ear. Yeah. He is like Scotty Barnes threw on the Buzz Lightyear fit, but it's kind of fire. No, it's really fire. I posted it. Like I was a big mm-hmm. fan of this. I accidentally tagged the wrong person, but it's all yeah, good. Yeah, I saw it's you all... tag Josh, Josh Christopher. Can't lie and act uh, like that. I don't look like Josh Christopher, but that's neither here nor there. The Scotty Barnes fit is hard. I'm not going to lie to you. The vest is hard. I like the pants. The gloves kind of tied it all together. I'm a fan yeah. of wearing sunglasses, like really dark 5% tint sunglasses indoors. Mm-hmm. Like I love that. Me I that too. You know who originated that? Uh, John you Wall. Say, I think I feel like John Wall really? made that a thing. That was his nickname, was John with the Shades. That's hard. That's my next yeah. caption for a John Wall post. 100%. Oh shit! That used to be my fucking caption over and over again for John in like 2018. Really? Um, yeah, when he was Loki at League Fits regular. But yeah, no, like if this is the type of time that Scotty Barnes is about to be on, like he's going to become a front runner for League Fits Rookie of the Year real fast, bro. Because this is like a risk taking, like the Buzz Lightyear type shit. Like that's taking a risk. That's cool. You know what I mean? I feel like some of like like Jalen Green came into the league with that like massive risk when he wore the ball main suit at the draft, mm-hmm. which I think is a top two Clear draft suit hands. ever. Yeah, 100%. Um, Cause I, I think Darius Garland is Obi-Wan still has an argument for number one. Yeah. But you know, top two. And I don't think there's a debate in that. Um, but like, yeah, came out in a fireball main suit, like da, 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 da. But then it's just been like vintage tees and mesh shorts, which is kind of like the Houston Ross- Rockets uniform. Yeah. Josh Christopher has been cool. He's had like the NASCAR jackets and stuff. But like, you know, the, not neither of those kids who were like the clear front runners in the preseason have really taken any risks. So if Scotty Barnes is about to get on this type of time, like saying it, like he's going to be the front runner for the league fits rookie of the year real fast. Even if he's only dressing for the last, like what, 15 games of the season. <laughs> That's all you need, man. That's all you yeah. need. You got to yeah, finish strong. That's mm-hmm. all you need. So I'm a, uh, and I, I would love to see it for the Raptors too. Cause you know, fans the pod. How much, how much goes into, is it just strictly the fits though? Cause I feel like there's an overall aesthetic that makes Jalen such a fan or like everybody's a fan yeah. of Jalen. But I say all that to say, that's why I'm such a fan of Josh, because mm-hmm. he has the fits, but he also has like the really cool personality to go with it. Like, I feel like I know nothing yeah. about Scotty Barnes, though. Maybe just because I'm out of tune and uncultured, but I don't know, man. This is gonna no, be, we know way, be we know way more about the other guys. I mean, let's be honest for a second. Like League Fits isn't actually a fits page. It's, it's really just like a league aesthetics page because we'll post like Devin Booker and like a unique low shirt and and khakis and chucks Mm -hmm. but like the photograph goes kind of hard like the lighting's on point that's that's cool stuff like that yeah yeah exactly like league fits is really just an aesthetics page you know what i mean like well i'll post a dude in a tech fleece if it's like a fire ass photo you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. um devin booker is just so particular about his like shit like, um, like the Suns like can't post pictures of him until like his team has like approved which photos they want them to use first. Like when they take like their own pregame tunnel photos, like really? his team gets to approve them first. Sheesh. Like very delicate. Um, the more you know. Yeah. Anyway, 
Yeah, League Fits isn't actually an outfits page. It's literally just a cool vibes page. It's just cool NBA players. Um, speaking of Devin Booker, though, I was in our DMs recently, and I didn't realize Devin Booker was such a big League Fits fan. I kind of had an idea, though. I remember it was like the what was what slam video was like him D'Angelo. It was like the the cover him D'Lo and Cat cover the slam ups or they were playing like the game. And I was like, one of the best slam covers ever, by the way. One so underrated. Favorite slam magazine. Need more slam covers like that. Yeah, yeah. We need Carl Towns on another cover. Shout out my man Carl Towns. Sixty points last night. You love sixty points last night. Going back to what I was saying. I remember when like the league fits card came up and I was watching that video that dude snapped. He was like, Oh, you know, the, oh. uh, the picture where like, they always post you D'Angelo. And it's, I'm like, dang, this dude knew everything. Like I was like, yeah, yeah. he's in tune. He's in tune. They were playing a sure. uh, little context there. They were playing like charades. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's what it's called. Where like, you can't say the word on the card, but you could say other things. Then people have to guess it. And you got trying as many as possible. But yeah, D book, uh, you should look, you post that clip on the podcast. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Right R- rip it off YouTube you. or screen record it. Um, but I, oh, yeah. So, yeah, he low key has been with the shits. I totally forgot about that. But yeah, like now when you tag someone in a picture, it like it like goes to their DMs. And he likes all the like he'll like the message that like says mm-hmm. he's been tagged. I was like, oh, shit. Like Devin Booker, fuck with leave. It's OK. Yeah. <laughs> Devin Booker, come on the pod. Devin Booker, come on the pod. He'd love to hear yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, he's Manifest. like, I, we can just say like he's. The MVP of this year, like, sheesh. I don't think I don't think there's ever been like a more clear cut favorite for League Fits MVP. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Now that you mentioned that, I really can't even possibly think of anybody else. Like, not even remotely. Yeah, in the That's past, kind of disappointing. In the past, there would be like four guys that like could have gotten it, and I would pick the oldest guy um, to get it. Generally speaking, um, just because you know, for obvious reasons. Um, because they're gonna die sooner. I'm just kidding. Because they, you know, they wow. have less time left in their career. Like that's why, like Jordan Clarkson got it. Like it didn't take. It was like year three or four when Jordan Clarkson got his first league fits MVP. Mm. It was just because like the other dudes were older than him. Um, speaking of, this is how I always transition. I'm like, I try and find like one little word. I'm like, speaking Segway of King. in his, yeah. speaking of in his bag. Um, I was about to say speaking of collabs, but we actually weren't talking about collabs. Um, but league fades, league fits. Yeah, first collab post that was awesome. We got to do more yeah. of those. We got to do more of those. But yeah, it probably yeah. should have been your idea. Yeah, true. <laughs> I I have like a, as soon as you texted me, like I have like five different. I, I'm like, yo, we could have did this. We could also do this. We could also do that. Like, there's like a million different. Those demographics are so similar. But I say all that to say, yeah. first league fits, league fades, post, collab posts, whatever you call those things. It's in the books, ladies and gentlemen. Go like it up. Afro yeah. Amiri, Aaron Gordon. Aaron, Aaron, Aaron Gordon. Gordon too. <laughs> so I like Aaron we, Gordon. We, we, we post this, right? We, we post this uh, Aaron Gordon picture and it's League Fades Joe's account and League Fits collab. And we posted it because he's wearing like a cool little like stoner Amiri hoodie and he has the afro in like yeah. literally five seconds after we post this. And it's probably Aaron Gordon's first League Fits post. If it's not his first, it's his first in like three years. Um, like within five seconds of posting it, he DMs the account with a like picture of what he was wearing that day. And he was like, this fit harder. Mm-hmm. It was not harder. <laughs> Man. Um, but he see he, he seemed super nice. But that's oh, yeah. another thing though. Like he had the cool afro in the picture that we posted. And, like it's an aesthetics thing. You know what I mean? Like it's the, the afro, your tattoos. This looks um, cool. It's like that ASAP Rocky. You know that ASAP Rocky interview where he's like, um, your clothes got to match your video. Your video got to match your house, and your house got to match your girlfriend. Um, yeah. like oh, all man. these things go into a league fits post, like. You know what I mean? You could be wear, wearing kind of a plain outfit, but like if your girl next to you and your tattoos are cool and you're mm-hmm. at your crib, which is like real feng shui, like you're going to get a league fits post. It's just yeah, I'm, I'm, I, 100%. I'm going to give another another hot statement here too. And it's bing bong. You know, bing bong. I don't even really like posting tunnel pics. And it, like I, on league Same. Fits, I really like reposting what the players post because they'll really mm-hmm. like post up in their crib and it looks all cool and they got the car and the artwork on the wall i like that more than just walking through the denver nuggets tunnel. i'm like if i was in the league if i was in the league and i was like fashion and i was like wavy still no like bro my instagram would not be with no tunnel pics at all it would be straight like 
photo shoot fresh like real stuff i know you know who does that jaron jackson jr always he has like a photographer that will take pictures at him at his house like before the games and they're fire we never get to use them though because he posts them on his story and like you can't like prop them to like fit the feed um but that shit's always fire like that i Mm -hmm. love the nba off season because that's when we get the best content like the guys even at fashion week that's even why i love like the hoppa blonde picture like it's like because like for whatever reason like even like the sidewalk photos just go way harder than the tunnel picks like i'm not sure like tunnel picks like are the future which is kind of it's a hot it's a hot take especially you know being mr league fits over there on your end but yeah well like i even like for like miles and thanassus for example as well miles the pacers tunnel is pretty cool but like definitely thanassus um we try and save his best outfits for away games because for away games the bucks take pictures of them leaving the hotel it's like outdoors the sun is out usually there's like a cool car in the background you know what i mean and those pictures go way harder than the tunnel pics um like the Montclair and Young Zhang pieces that we did, like we purposely saved that for Salt Lake City because we knew the picture would be outside. Um, oh, I think someone yeah. the Montclair one in Cleveland. No, oh no, cool. that was a different one. But yeah, for sure, same shit, same shit. That was outside. Like that picture doesn't go as hard if it's in a tunnel. I remember the Montclair one in Cleveland for unfortunate reasons. I remember I was supposed to link up with you guys, and I got left out in the cold, and I had to walk to Chipotle, and I was just walking and. 15 degree weather in Chipotle but it's all good though because I ran into Sean Witherspoon that's poor cool Joe. though but poor, poor me. Joe got a free trip to all-star weekend and I had to yeah that's unfortunate yeah, but it's all tragic. good though I'm that's my hot statement though for this for this no episode. I think you're right I think Tunnel league fits picks. in the off season is better than league fits in the season there's less yeah. content but the content it hit a little harder yeah for sure even when it's like Shay like on a stairwell you know what I mean Speaking of Shay, I want to just applaud Shay real quick. Let me just get some. We could snap snaps, it up for Shay. Snaps. Snap, snap, snap for Shay Gilgis Alexander. That man is taking risks. When you talk about somebody who's like now expanding their bag, like I really like the whole like bubble suit head thing yeah. that he has going on. The Among like, Us, the Among Us, the Among Us fits. I'm mm-hmm. yo, I'm 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 very surprised. You got to check out the Okies. You should low key post this. You got to check out the Okies. OKC, I can't say OKC. OKC, OKC. Okie dokies, the, yeah, they posted the, it on the Twitter. Oki, the Okie Dokie Thunders um, made like an Among Us TikTok uh, around oh, the outfit man. that's on there, and it's it's really funny. Um, I watch it. Yeah, um, yeah. I think like our biggest complaint about Shay's fits was that he wasn't really expanding his bag, and like he is running on some like kind of different time now. Yeah, I had to I had to give my give my credit where it's due. So yeah, respect. Shay. Yeah, we uh we we started the pod cut pod on kind of a negative note. So we're getting back in our positive bags. We're positive people. Positive people. Positive yeah. everywhere. Right. Damn, today positive. was just a straight basketball fashion pod. Yeah, what happened in your world, man? What like let the let the people know what's going on with Mister Ian Pierno. Is there anything we should, oh. we should look out for? He's been um, killing the styling. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, bro. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, not everyone likes it. And that's good, though. I was just thinking about that yesterday. I remember, I don't know where I was, why I was talking to myself in my car, but I always do that. But I forgot what I was saying or whatever, but I was just like, I don't want everyone to like what I'm doing. Yeah. I I don't want that at all. You're not creating art if everyone likes it. Yeah. What's that saying? What's that saying? Art should comfort the disturbed and disturb the comfortable. You want to shake people up, man. Yeah. Make like, people feel re- something. Like, I want like, you to feel like a Tumblr quote when you look at my shit. You and the Tumblr quotes. I want to shout out Miles, too. Because Miles shout has really, Miles like... Turner. Come on the pod. We should, we should get... I'll get him on the pod. That's probably, like, the easiest ask ever, and I just haven't put it out. But... It's all good. Um, He's, like, really grown into taking rest, which is something he was not down to do a few months ago. Like, so you talk about hanging around Ian Pierre. No, next thing you know, you're gonna start wearing overalls, man. It's just it's how it works, man. It's how it works. Like, talk about like a dude that like has just really leaned into like being like this like risk taker, like content guy. Like, not even like just his fashion shit. Like everything he does now, like on the internet, like he's taking risks, like hollering at women on to like I just I don't know. I have so much respect <laughs> for how he's grown in that in that respect. Um, Miles is the man. That's all I was trying yeah. to say. I love this podcast, man. We really give a good podcast. Out. Yeah. 
What's your favorite type of flower? My favorite type of flower is a black rose because it's, that's what my soul feels like. I'm just kidding. Uh, what is my favorite type of flower? I don't know. I don't get flowers, you know? Uh, so Damn, for know. Real, you, nobody's ever given you flowers? Nope. Somebody's giving you flowers? Bro, literally. What? I, my sister is actually in town visiting me and she got mm-hmm. me flowers from across the street. Uh, but you've never had like a like a girl like give you flowers. This man just had flowers just queued up. Like he had this segment yeah. queued up. He just got bro. Like you've never on. had like a woman yeah. like send you flowers. Oh uh, no, nah, man. Sorry, I'm what? Not really, I'm not built like that. I'm gonna get there though. I'm gonna get there though. I'll, I'll give I'm you some tips. I I mean like I'm like mad single, so maybe I'm the wrong person to give tips. But I've mm-hmm. had I've had I've like casually like told people like yeah I like flowers because men can like flowers too, and yeah. yeah. Men can like flowers too. Ladies, if you're listening to this podcast, send your man some flowers today. I'm not even going to lie. I was thinking about that a while ago. I was like, man, what's like the craze of getting flowers? Because they're like everywhere. But like, I don't know when somebody mm-hmm. picks them up and gives them to you. It's like such a, oh my God, thank you for the flowers type thing. I'm like, yeah. but maybe the reason why I feel like that is because Joe Williams never got flowers, you know? Maybe you guys can send me some flowers, you know? I'll put my P.O. box in the yeah. description. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't realize I liked flowers, flowers until my ex, ex-girlfriend. Like, before we were even officially official, I was like, you know, like, she was like a little bit like a sugar mama type role in my life. Um, but I was casually like, bonsai Maybe trees are so them. sick. And so she bought me a bonsai tree, which are like really like kind of expensive. Like a bonsai tree is like a buck 30. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, she gets me a bonsai tree and she was like, when the bonsai tree dies, we die. Anyway, like six, eight months later, we broke up. Bonsai tree died and it was really poetic. But anyway, I was like, that's what made me realize I liked people giving me plants because then she would give me flowers too all the time. And now like every... I think gift, it might be gift kind of uh, flower gifts. I'm not like a huge gift guy, but like flowers, dude, it's so nice. You could like, you know what I mean? Like you like see them on your table all the time. So like I'm like on like a boring ass Zoom call and like I look and like those flowers are on the table and it's like, you know, it kind of like keeps your day flowing. Flowers are really like sweet. That. And you can like change that. them up. You know what I mean? Because I get sick of looking at the same shit over and over again, but you can switch up the flowers. So like my love True. language, yeah, is probably receiving flowers. Ladies, send your man flowers. <laughs> Ladies who listen to this pod, send Joe flowers. DM the account, I'll get you a P.O. box. And let's make yeah. his day. All right, fellas. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We love you. Go get your flowers. I would love to, I would love to stay and chat some more, but I got to go pick some flowers out of my neighbor's yard. So got to go, guys. Unfortunately. <laughs> Go follow Survival of the Fitted wherever you get your podcast. Tell them that intern Joe sent you. Click the follow button. Go follow Survival of the Fitted.